Welcome to the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Writer, typing the text in basic formatting. In this tutorial, we will learn the following. Aligning text in Writer, bullets and numbering, cut, copy and paste options in Writer, bold, underline and italics option, font name, font size, font color in Writer. Applying these features in the documents make them more attractive and much easier to read as compared to the documents which are in plain text. Here we are using GNU Linux as our operating system and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. We will first learn about aligning text in Writer. You can open a new document of your choice in Writer and implement these features. Since we have already created a file with the file name resume.odt in the last tutorial, we will open this file. We had previously typed the word resume and aligned it to the center of the page. So let's select the word and click on align left. You will see that the word resume is left aligned, meaning it is towards the left margin of the document. If we click on Align Right, you will see that the word Resume is now aligned to the right of the page. If we click on Justify, you will see that the word Resume is now aligned such that the text is uniformly placed between the right and left margins of the page. This feature is more obvious when you have a line or a paragraph of text. Let's undo this. Bullets and numbering are used when independent points have to be written. Each point starts with a bullet or a number. This way, one can distinguish between different points written in the document. This is accessed by first clicking on the Format option in the menu bar and then clicking on Bullets and Numbering. The dialog box which you see after clicking on Bullets and Numbering option provides you various styles under different tabs which you can apply on your document. Numbering is done in the same way by selecting the numbering option and every line will start with a new number. So let us click on the second style under the numbering type style. Now click on the OK button. You are now ready to type your first statement. Let us type here name colon Ramesh. Now press the enter key on the keyboard. Whenever you press the Enter key after typing a statement, you will see that a new bullet point or a new incremental number is created. There can be bullets within bullets as well as numbers within numbers depending upon the type of format you choose. So we type the second statement in the resume as Father's name colon Mahesh. Again, press the Enter key and type mother's name colon Shweta. Similarly, we type father's occupation colon government servant and mother's occupation colon housewife as different points. You can use tab and shift tab keys to increase and decrease the indent for the bullets respectively. In order to turn off the bullets and numbering option, First place the cursor next to the word housewife and click on the enter key first and then click on the numbering off option in the bullets and numbering dialog box. You see that the bullet style is no longer available for the new text which you will type. Notice that we have typed the word name twice in our document. Instead of typing the same text all over again, we can use the copy and paste option in Writer. So let us learn how to do this. Now we delete the word name from the text mother's name and rewrite the word name using copy and paste options. In the text father's name, first select the word name by dragging the cursor along the word name. Now right click on the mouse and click on the copy option. Place the cursor after the word Mothers. Again, right-click on the mouse and click on the Paste option. We see that the word Name gets pasted automatically. 
there are shortcut keys available for these options as well. Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste. This feature is very useful while writing a large amount of similar text in documents where you don't need to write the entire text repeatedly. You can also use the cut and paste feature in order to move a text from one place to another in the document. Now let us see how to do so. Let us first delete the word name after the word mothers. In order to cut and paste this word, first select the word name in the statement father's name. Right click on the mouse and then click on the cut option. Notice that the word name is no longer there next to the word fathers, which means it has been cut or deleted. Now place the cursor after the word mothers and right click on the mouse. Click on the paste option. You see that the word is now pasted here next to the word mothers. The shortcut key to cut is Ctrl plus X. Hence, the only difference between copying and cutting the text is that the copy option keeps the original word at its place from where it was copied, whereas the cut option removes it completely from its original place. Let's paste the word name next to fathers as well and continue. Let's type a new heading as education details. After learning about bullets and numbering in Writer, we will now learn how the font name and the font size of any text can be changed or applied. Now in the Format toolbar at the top, we have a field named Font Name. The font name is usually set as Liberation Serif by default. Font Name is used to select and change the type of font you wish to type your text in. For example, let us give the heading Education Details a different font style and font size. So first select the text Education Details. Then click on the down arrow in the Font Name field. You see a wide variety of font name options in the drop-down menu. Search for Liberation Sans and simply click on it. You see that the font of the selected text changes. Besides the font name field, we have the font size field. As the name suggests, font size is used to increase or decrease the size of either the selected text or set the size of the font of the new text which you wish to type. So we first select the text Education Details. The font size shown currently is 12. Now click on the down arrow in the font size field and then click on 11. You see that the font size of the text decreases. The font size can be increased in the same way. After learning about font size, we will see how to change the font color in Writer. The font color is used to select the color of the text in which your document or a few lines are typed. For example, let us color the heading Education Details. So again, select the text Education Details. Now click on the down arrow in the Font Color option in the toolbar and then click on the light green box for applying the light green color to the text. So you see that the heading is now green in color. Next to the Font Size option, you will see three options, namely Bold, Italic and Underline. As the name suggests, these will make your text either bold or italic or underlined. So first select the heading Education Details. Now click on the bold icon to make the text bold. You see that the selected text becomes bold. Similarly, if you click on the italic icon, it converts the text to italic. Clicking on the underline icon will underline your text you see that the selected text is now underlined. In order to keep the heading bold and underlined, deselect the italic option by clicking on it again and keep the other two options selected. Hence, the heading is now bold as well as underlined. This brings us to the end of the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Writer. To summarize, we learnt about 
aligning text in writer, bullets and numbering, cut, copy and paste options in writer, bold, underline and italic options, font name, font size, font color in writer, comprehensive assignment, activate bullets and numbering, choose a style and write few points, Select some text and change its font name to Free Sans and the font size to 16. Make the text italics. Change the font color to red. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict hyphen intro this tutorial has been contributed